we have a bending problem. Here we are working with a rectangular shape with the hollow interior. We have a moment, a couple given, which is 15 kilonewton meters, and they want us to determine the stress at point A and the stress at point B. Since this is a bending problem, we're going to be relying on this formula. The stress equals negative of the moment times y, and y will be the distance from the neutral axis to point A or point B, and then i is the moment of inertia of this shape. Okay, to get started, we can uh, see that the m we have, but y and i we do not have. So let's get to work on calculating those first. Since this is a symmetric shape, we know that the neutral axis will be right here at the center of this rectangle. I'm going to mark it as NA for neutral axis. And now we can go ahead and calculate our Y for point A. Since this whole length of the interior is 80, therefore, since the natural neutral axis goes through the center, we know that this length will be 40, half of it. So my Y for point A will be 40, what is this, millimeters. All these are millimeters. I should write it over here. Okay, so there you go. We found Y for A. Now, uh, Y for B, I'm going to put right here. Now we know that the whole thing is 80 plus 20 plus another 20. So that's 120. So it's all the way at the edge. So half from the neutral axis to the here will be 60. So therefore Y for B will be 60 millimeters. And since we can see that the moment is acting upwards, therefore all the measurements above the neutral axis upwards will be positive and everything downwards will be negative. And this is downward. Therefore my YB is actually negative 60 millimeters. Now let's take a look at uh, the moment of inertia of this uh, material, of this uh, rectangle with a hollow interior. It doesn't matter what point we're talking about, the moment of inertia will be the same for both point A and point B. So the total moment of inertia will be equal to, I'm going to take the outside rectangle, so I'm going to call that I1, and then the interior rectangle, I'm going to subtract it, so minus I2. Here's the formula for the moment of inertia for a rectangle, base height, and the formula I equals 1 over 12, B, H to the third. This is what I used. I plugged in the value for the big rectangle, 1 over 12, 80 for the base, 120 for the whole entire height to the cube, minus 1 over 12, now the small rectangle, the 40, the inside, times 80, the height of the interior to the cube, which will give us this value, and then convert it to meters, 9.81, 10 to the negative 6 meter uh, to the fourth. Now we got to the point where we know everything that we need in our formula, therefore we're gonna go ahead and start calculating our stresses at point A and point B. So for point A, the stress at point A will be equal to the negative, and we're gonna plug in. Here it is, and we will get a final value for the stress at A of negative 61.6 mega pascals, and the negative will indicate that it is a compressive stress. As we can see, the moment is bending upwards, so therefore it's pushing the top of the rectangle. Now let's take a look at the stress at point B. Minus 
and let's go ahead and plug in and here it is all plugged in the trick make sure you remember that y b is negative we are going towards the bottom of it therefore negative 60 millimeters convert it to meters everything plugged in and we get a final value for this as a 91.7 megapascals as and as we can see the value is positive and it indicates that we have a tensile stress.